What's up, you guys? So, yeah, these uh, videos are becoming few and far between because of, uh, you know, working back at the office. It's kind of a hassle. And it cuts into my time for, for me to be able to find time to do these videos. But anyway, I'm here now with really bad hair uh, to, uh, to do one for Tame Impala. And uh, it's weird because I, I, I just got into Tame Impala about four, maybe five months ago when I watched a movie. And at the end of the movie, um, they, uh, they played one of, uh, they played a Tame Impala song. Feels like we only go backwards. Feels like I'm only going backwards. Feels like I only go backwards, I believe is the actual title of the song feels like I feels like we only go backwards or I only go backwards but at any rate when I heard the song I freaked out because I loved it immediately it was uh like the coolest freaking psychedelic pop song I've ever heard I love it so you know I just watched YouTube videos and listen to that song and um and then maybe a night or two later i i was watching youtube on television and i just i just said tame impala that one first song comes on and then i watched a bunch of other uh videos of uh, other tame impala songs and listened to uh to what it what it showed me on youtube on my tv and uh, it's all really good stuff. I mean, it's amazing. So anyway, it's really the brainchild of Kevin Parker. And then when he tours, he gets these four other guys together and they create or recreate the music. And, uh, and I did see some live clips of the band playing together and these guys are really great. So, so I kind of freaked out and started buying what I could get my hands on. There's not a whole lot of product out there. Four albums, right? A single, an early single that I haven't got my hands on. But I will show you what I do have. What I managed to collect in about, what, maybe two or three months. And uh, probably the earliest item is this, uh, CD single. It's the only thing I have by Tame Impala on CD. And it's got uh, five songs. Desire Be, Desire Go, Skeleton Tiger, Half Full Glass of Wine. Half Full Glass of Wine. Right? 41 Mosquitoes Flying in Formation. And uh, Slide Through My Fingers. So, I picked this up about three weeks ago and checked it out and uh, yeah typical psychedelic packaging that these guys or Kevin likes to use anyway and here's the disc I believe that this is actually an original um, Australian pressing I don't know which way is, 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 I guess it doesn't really matter. Look at it. <laughs> but um, I think it originally came with a poster and there's no poster with this one. And I, I really don't care about the poster. Um, I mean, if it had it, that's cool. Uh, I really just wanted the five songs that are on here. And this thing's in wonderful shape, plays great. Nice little spine. So anyway, so this is, uh, I guess, the earliest music that I have by Tame Impala. And it's not the last thing I got by them, but it's the earliest 
music I think that was released by them that I have. Um, one of these days, if I can get my hands on one of those singles, they're really expensive. And so, of course, you know, I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for two songs. I just don't want to do that. So anyway, pretty cool. I listened to these. Excellent. Uh, here, I'll put this here. All right, so, so Tame Impala is basically four albums. I mean, you know, and they got some 12-inch uh, um, singles and I guess CD singles as well. But anyway, here's their, I guess their first uh, album, Inner Speaker. Tame Impala, Inner Speaker. You know, it's funny because I, I heard about Tame Impala probably about a year, a year and a half ago, maybe. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't check out the music, but I thought that the covers were kind of nice. Yeah, look at this one. I mean, it, it, it's uh, that time of season right now. I mean, this looks like a November day here in Maryland, except, uh, you know, without the, uh, the visual echo. <laughs> I guess I'll call it that. But anyway... Um, I just picked this up and two other items I picked up from a Barnes and Noble in Northern Virginia and uh, on modular. There's your track listing. Inner speaker, okay? So beautiful. And of course, uh, had to add the uh, polyline sleeve because you know nobody wants to pay for a polyline sleeve he's putting out the music so if you really want to you do it so that's what I do so here's some um, here's the first album This is side A. Side A has no writing on it, so blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Anyway, I, I freaking dig this guy. Kevin Parker. Great voice. And he writes cool songs. And uh, I respect that. What's not to respect? The guy is a go-getter and, and does his thing. So here you go. Here's uh, side C. Side D. Um, I checked this album out. It's really good. <laughs> it's good. It's freaking good music. Inner speaker. <clears throat> yeah, this was one of three items I picked up from Barnes and Noble. Um, this is uh, Lonerism, yeah. Uh, picked this. This was the first record I, I found somebody who was selling it on uh, Discogs, and uh, you know, said, "Please send me that." Here's the money for it, blah, blah, blah. So, great album cover. There's no title on it, which is um, different than the other two or three albums that they've, uh, that Tame Impala has released. Um, just wanted to get the song feels like we only go backwards 
because I just freaking fell in love with that tune. And I've quickly figured out the chords on the piano and it just sounds so beautiful. Even on a, on a piano, it just sounds great. Feels like we only go backwards, yep. I still got to learn the words to that, uh, but uh, I absolutely love the song and uh, love the sentiment of the song. It's 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 a really really uh, great, well written. Actually, it doesn't even feel like a song that was written. It feels like it just fell out of Kevin's head, like he was uh, kind of living it. Like what a good artist would do. You know, it's, it, it really conveys a guy frustrated with a relationship that doesn't want to go anywhere. And it's beautiful. Really great song. But rest of the album is good too. Uh, when I was at uh, Barnes & Noble in Northern Virginia... They had this cool box set and uh, this cool package. And I said, you know what? I'm freaking getting it. So I had to spend a lot of money that day. <laughs> All right. So uh, here's the spine. It doesn't say anything on it. Here's the back. All right. And what you get in here is, whoop, what you get in here is this little booklet, this little art booklet. A lot of photographs in this booklet, blah, blah, blah. It's really beautiful. It's a really nice booklet, actually. It's really cool. Uh, I'm not knocking Kevin Parker, and I'm not knocking the package uh, by any means. But I have to admit that I didn't really read the text in here. I'll do that. Uh, what we have here is um, a three-record set. different custom labels. All right. Okay, right. Ooh, easy. And F, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, side, side E has uh, two tracks, uh, two demos Retina Show and Sidetracked Soundtrack. Two demos. Right. And then Assorted Sketches from 2010 through 2012. Uh, on this side. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what you get in this thing. You get that and you get this book. If that, if this were uh, like a seven inch single, I would dig that much more. Give me the music, man. The art books are kind of nice, but give me the music. All right, so anyway, that's what this package 
contained. So the price was a little steep for a uh, three record set, two of those records, which I already have the music of. So, but I'm, I'm learning about this artist. I'm, I wanted to get, check out what they're putting out. So that's what I did. There we go. All right, so that is a uh, lonerism special package. 2012 through 2022. So, the song's 10 years old, right? 11 years old, really. Boy, am I behind, I'm way behind learning about these guys or this or Kevin Parker, really. Uh, here's Currents, their third album or his third album. And again, Island? Universal Truth of Place. Interscope, uh, not Island. Interscope. Sorry. Sorry, Interscope. Cool. I don't know, man. I always like uh, those custom labels, man. And uh, I guess Kevin's doing well enough. The band is doing well enough. I can do this, which is cool. Here is, well, really there's not much, right? Same thing, right? This side. This side thing. I have checked the music out on, on all of these, all three of these albums already. And um, I like Kevin Parker's uh, output. I think the guy is, is a really great songwriter. I think he's... Um, he writes solid stuff. And I, I bet you a lot of times it's, stuff just pops out of him and he just plays around with it. And if it develops into something cool, if it doesn't develop into something, it's still kind of a cool idea. Uh, I heard that on a Sketches record in that second package. All right. So um, the last thing I got my hands on is this humongous box set, uh, The Slow Rush. Now this, this is the kind of thing I like. This is kind of fun, because, all right, you see this, right? This beautiful package. Right? Right? Big fat box. So when I got this thing, and I opened it up, okay, another art book. That's cool, but it did come with the single. Uh, there's a poster in here, but I believe there's a poster. Oh yeah, it's in the album. So you get this art book. All kinds of stuff. You know, there's all kinds of pictures and stuff. All right, and uh, you get a calendar. <laughs> you get a, I don't know, man. I guess he figures he's, He's got young kids who really love him. And uh, it's a 2050, it's a calendar for 2050. I didn't actually verify that this is for 2050, but I have no doubt that they did a calendar for 2050, if that's what it says. Uh, 
It's whack, isn't it? So, because it's 20, 2023 now, 2050. So, you know, 27 years from now, right? Uh, 27 years from now, Kevin's going to be a little older. <laughs> and probably a lot wiser, I hope. Here's the uh, single, The Boat I Row and uh, No Choice. The Boat I Row and No Choice. I found a poly sleeve to stick this single in, so it's well protected. All right. And now the records. Uh, you get... The actual album, I guess this is the album, Slow Rush. Um, fiction, um, Interscope, oh, Island, Interscope, Fiction, Virgin Records. Look at that. Look at that. Four different uh, record labels involved in this production. Island Records, Interscope, Fiction, and Virgin. Jesus. So anyway, here's a... a the double album set. Uh, records are beautiful. Deep, deep red vinyl. Nothing all that special. Uh, if it were like some kind of cool pink or red marble black and red splatter kind of thing that's that's a lot more fun I think but still it's different a little different it's beautiful it's the most common it's the most common color vinyl color that there is out there the red and but I like the art sleeves I always love that I'm not knocking the package just because it's only red vinyl i'm not knocking the package all right same color here but i'll show you the the sleeve i guess it's really that way All right, here is the poster. <clears throat> and since I'm not gonna put the poster up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and show it. I guess this is... Pretty cool. I guess Kevin on a, in a lonely place. <laughs> I dig this guy, I think he's good. And I get the appeal, I get it. The guy is a talented dude and he makes shit happen. So yeah, man, this is great stuff. So here's here's the album. Track listing. If you want to freeze it and capture that on your phone. And then um, there are two more records. Uh, remixes. Uh... Is it true? And then there's two songs on this side, I guess, on the B side. Oh, is it true? Fortet remix. And then uh, side B, B1 is uh, Breathe, Breathe Deeper, Lil, Yacht Re Little, Lil Yachty remix. 
and Borderline Blood Orange Remix. So there's your track listing for uh, what was in this box. And then, uh, uh, I guess you could call this a single, 12 inch single with the songs. This is one more year. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> one more year NTS version. And then there's two songs on this side, Patience. Two tracks, anyway. Patience, uh, Morris, Futon remix, and Original, it looks like it says. All right, so you get side A and you get side B. Groovy, man. And I did check these out. In fact, these I've checked out the the remix and uh, and this single first. It's great. It's good music. So anyway, that's uh, that's just about everything, really. Here's the calendar. And the book, I stick the uh, single in the middle of this booklet so as to maybe help protect it a little bit. And there it is, man. Those are the four albums. And the last thing I got is this uh, single. It's a... Um, um, a joint effort by Thundercat and Tame Impala. No More Lies. It's it's really just one song. It's a, a single sided single. There's your Tame Impala and there's your Thunder <laughs> Thundercat. And uh it's not even a gatefold sleeve. All right? Pretty cool, real nice. Uh, there's a couple of different versions. I picked up this one that has uh, this side. There's nothing on it, just that design. This side you see orange, and this is the side with the music. It's a great song. Uh, it's a, it's it's kind of got a silly ending. Uh, Thundercat cracking jokes basically but I love both artists so uh, uh, and 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 as a matter of fact when I saw that the uh, Thundercat was like hey man I, I want I always wanted to work with this guy Kevin for a long time now and I thought well because I like Thundercat and I thought well, all right I gotta check out Tame Impala well now I did this is the last I think this is the last thing they both did well certainly the last thing they both did together but probably about the most recent thing that they've done uh, and so that's everything so I hope that you um, I hope that was interesting it was a half an hour uh, see you next time